Hi there. My name is Dimitris Karalabidis. I'm a math teacher. And in this video, we're going to learn how to apply the t-test using our calculators and more precisely using Casio FX CG50. As we have said before, when we are conducting a t-test, the most of the work will be done through the GDC, through our calculator. In this video, we will learn, as said, the commands needed to do a t-test with a Casio FX CG50. First of all, we should know that in order to do the t-test, we should have the values of two different sums, of two different data sets. Let's assume then that we are given the following table with values from such two data sets. For example, we have the values taken from sample one, which are the numbers on the above line, on the first line, and more precisely numbers 26, 22, 28, and so on. And on the second line, we have the values taken from the second sample respectively. These are numbers 19, 24, 25, 26, and so on. To do the t-test with Casio, we will have to apply the following commands. First of all, we should go to the menu and then statistics. We will have two columns in front of us. In list one, we will place the values taken from the first sample. And in list two, we will place the values taken from the second sample respectively. Thus, in my case, in our case, list one will contain the numbers 26, 22, 28, and so on, while list two will contain the numbers 19, 24, 25, and so on. Right after that, we will press on test, then T, and a two sample. Now we will see some commands. First of all, our data should always be in list mode, not in variable. Secondly, in the second line, we can get, we can input three different cases. We can either write me one smaller than me two, different than me two, or bigger than me two. It is, it depends on the alternative hypothesis we have on that specific example. Moving on, list in bracket one should be list one, list in bracket two should be list two. Basically here, our GDC asks us from where to get the two samples. List in brackets one, it says the values of the first sample are taken from, and by inputting list one, we tell the GDC to go and search them in list one. Similarly, we tell the GDC to go and search the values taken from the second sample from list two. About the frequencies, they will be both equal to one. Don't forget to have the pulled on. And finally, you are able to perform the t-test by pressing execute. Once you do that, the GDC will indeed provide you with the wanted results. From the last last screen, we care about the t, which is the t statistic value, and the value of p, which is the p value. And that is all. Remember, once again, you will go to menu, statistics, then test, t, to sample. Careful here, data should be on list mode. Depending on your alternative hypothesis, you might put me one smaller, different, or bigger than me two. Don't forget to put pulled on. And finally, you are ready to interpret your results. For any questions about this video or any other comments, you can always leave a comment below it, or you can directly contact me on my personal email, which is the one you see in front of you, haralabidis, d, at hotmail.com. As always, thank you for your time.